Hey guys, so how's it going? Today, since we're going to be having inner and inferno match between Kane and Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam, I'm going to be talking about past inferno matches and the history of the inferno match. The first ever Inferno match was done by Kane and The Undertaker on Raw's War. No, wait, no, no, no. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the first ever Inferno match was Triple H and Kane on Friday Night SmackDown. As you knew, Kane was a bad guy who led D-Generation X. That didn't seem that much like a bad guy. But Kane was the man who would come in and stop Triple H on his bad doings. Now, the second ever Inferno match was at Raw's War from The Undertaker and Kane. Undertaker and Kane are having this giant rivalry that led up to this Inferno match. One of the biggest Inferno matches in WWE history. On WWE, I think it was Unforgiven. I could be wrong, though. There was an Inferno match between Kane and MVP because Kane had this whole rivalry with MVP since Kane set MVP on fire. And blah de blah de blah. So, which led to them doing this Inferno match. And last but not least, the Inferno match has been shown in WWE video games. From 2009 up to our recent video game, WWE 13. The, the Inferno match started in 2009, portraying the actual Inferno match, how they would set the sides of the ring on fire. They portrayed it pretty well, showing the, the Fahrenheit of when you would hit the ground. And they're still showing it pretty well in WWE 13. Okay, that's all I got to say, guys. I hope you enjoy SummerSlam. Goodbye.